Good morning. This is Lady Somerset of Heart of a Woman's Ministry. I would like to welcome you to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my video. And for those of you who are return uh, subscribers or viewers, thank you for coming back. And those of you who this may be your first time, I appreciate you and welcome to my space. Um, I just wanted to do a brief review on the movie called Deliverance by Lee Daniels. I watched it on last night and I'm in fact trying to get out of the house to run some errands and I felt it necessary um, or was led to um, just share a few things about the movie. Um, I think that the timing of the movie for Church and the Kingdom is very appropriate. Um, the problem is, is that a lot of our churches are just doing church and we're not doing kingdom work. And as I heard another pastor say, that this was normal for us in the um, 80s and 90s. That was what we went to church and that's what we saw on a service to service basis. It is only in the 2000s on that when the motivational type preaching came along with the prosperity messages and when mega churches became very popular and everybody wanted to fill their tabernacles, their temples, their churches, their edifices, that we find that we did not teach and preach old, what they would call old school. And I'm not talking about bringing back uh, whether or not a woman can wear earrings or not wear earrings. I'm not talking about wearing long dresses, long skirts. I'm not talking about whether or not a woman can preach or be put in the pulpit. I'm not talking about that. What I am talking about or what I want to reiterate is that there was a different approach to salvation. There was a power that existed in the old church that does not exist wholly in this new church in this new season. And as another pastor has brought up that we are so divided until we have pulled away from doing deliverance. However, deliverance was a one of the primary acts um, of the church right now, um, as I often share with my church, is that we do a lot of church things. We're doing a lot of busy work, but are we doing kingdom? When we find churches are considering the bottom line financially and why to have a service and who to bring in when it's not built on the Spirit of God directing us as to who should be coming and who should run the revival and who should be the preacher. It's very important that we understand that the church is, a, is supposed to be a hospital. It's a place where folks who um, are tired of life, folks who don't know Jesus, folks who um, have been through the gutter, and they can't find their way out, that they find their way to the uh, church and there can find silence. And then there's those who come who have opened doors and have portals in their lives where demonic presences has entered into their lives and they cannot free themselves from that bondage. Um, it is a reality. And I like to think, Lee Daniels for reminding us of the purpose 
of the church, the body of Christ. This was something that Christ did when he walked the earth, that he set the people free. Remember when he was coming uh, onto shore and, and the lunatic uh, met him, that spirit, before he could even get on the shore. And, and that is one of the things I wanted to bring out about the movie that I thought could be um, brought out a little bit better is that there is a power. You have to have a life conducive of uh, the word of God, having that in you. You have to be fully equipped, having the full armor of Christ on. Um, you cannot operate and fear. Fear is not of God. It works against your faith. And um, that was a part of the movie that really uh, kind of bothered me because we find that this woman, this apostle, this bishop goes again against the spirit. And this is the second time. And she has the oil, but her faith is not where it needs to be. And um, I have been involved in doing deliverance since my 20s. Our church had deliverance in its name. And um, I've been privy to uh, many deliverances. And it's not for the faint of heart. I will say that. There are people who are actually called to this ministry because most of us as Christians, we don't mind coming to church and singing the songs and jumping and running around the church and all that. But when it comes to deliverance, it takes work. It is a work. You have to be able to walk in this thing. And as I watched and saw that uh, in her second attempt and and she tried to um, deliver the young man and that her faith failed her. That was uh, a little disconcerting, but it is a reality that when we approach this line of deliverance that is not an exorcism, it is you as a preacher, the teacher, uh, the person, uh, confronting and speaking to an entity, which is real, that you are speaking to it as you are Jesus. You are standing in his stead to bring forth deliverance to a person that is bound. And I think a lot of times what has happened because of the new way that we are teaching and a new way that we are preaching that we are not solid. We're not, as people say, 10 toes down on what we truly believe because in uh, some of these sessions I've witnessed, um, especially these demonic forces, if you are not in the place that you're supposed to be, they will start calling out and exposing. Uh, I see across YouTube and uh, TikTok, we have prophets and teachers and pastors and they're calling themselves exposing others in their sin. I'm telling you, no, you have not been exposed until you have been exposed by a satanic spirit or a demon. It knows, it knows where you go. It knows what you do. It knows who you've been with. And that is, I believe, one of the reasons why we do not see the deliverance taking place in church as it should be be. Um, again, I would like to say thank you, Lee Daniels, for waking us up, for reminding us that there is a purpose, not just to wear the hats and the beautiful suits, that's fine, and the heels, all of that works. It's more than jumping and shouting and running around the church and turning over pews. When we mount the pulpit, when we come to church, we should come with the mindset of warfare because it is a spiritual warfare. And if people can come to the church and not be delivered, then again, the scripture talks about uh, 
if the salt has lost its savior, what good is it? What good are we to people who are coming and looking to be set free? Again, I applaud you. I applaud the timing of this uh, movie. It has people talking. In fact, I've uh, commented on someone else's uh, review uh, that was a pastor of this. And I'm telling you, it's generating conversations across the church world. So those of you who are preachers and teachers, we must be reminded that we're not just called just to show up. We're called to show up and be prepared for warfare. So until next time, my friend, uh, if you agree with me, you can uh, put it in the comments. If you don't agree with me, you can put it in the, in the comments. And it's just time for a discourse. It's time for us uh, to get ready. It's time for us to be ready. It's time for us to do the work that Christ has called us to do. He left us the Holy Spirit as a comforter to lead us, guide us into all truth because the work is not finished. He left a work and he said, greater things will we do. Amen. And so let us do the greater things. Until next time, my friend, thank you again. Uh, click, tag, uh, subscribe, leave a comment, and um, just keep holding on to the Most High God. God bless you. Until next time.